Hey there, Julian here, and welcome to Member Script 34. So in this one, we are trying to require business emails or just block personal emails. So let's take a look at how that looks. If I go over here and just do something at gmail.com and then try to submit the form, it's going to say, please enter a business email. Then let's say, for example, I change it to hotmail.com. Again, please enter business email. It's not going to work. Now let's just say I change it to company.com. As we can see, the error message goes away and I can submit the form. So let's take a look at how to actually do that. First things first, you're going to need your script 34. Copy it, paste it in, and you're good to go. Just a couple things I'm going to mention here in case you do want to change them. We have these domains here, which is our block list. You can add to this, you could remove from this. These are just kind of the most popular ones. So that's it. Keep that in mind. Then down here, we have the message. Please enter a business email. If you want to change that, go for it. And that's it. So that's all you need to do on the code front. Then over here, as always, we've got a couple attributes. So we've got this form, which has ms-code-validate-form. And then we have our input, which is the business email one, which is ms-code-business-email. That's it. Blank attributes, just the name, and then leave it as is. So from there, everything will work as it's supposed to. And then we get to the custom success messages. So you're going to want to make something over here. And while you do not need to actually have this in the HTML, you should have it somewhere in your project, just because if you create the class and then go and clear the classes, it's going to think it's unused. So I just like to keep it there in the HTML. So let's go ahead and make this visible. So what we actually have over here is, interestingly enough, we have two things. We have some rich text and we have some HTML embed. So what this is doing is simply saying block the typical list styling from just adding a bunch of padding to the side. So just paste this in, you're good to go. Then over here, what we have is within that rich text, we have an unordered list and then we have the list item and this is what we're going to style but you're going to need to apply this ms-code-validation-error class on to this text so then all you need to do is style your list item and the reason is because these error messages in the html are actually being displayed as list items so if you copy this over just change the styling and you're good to go and then of course you're going to want to hide this so that's it if you have any issues or questions let me know julian at memberstack.com or in the 2.0 slack and i will talk to you soon have a good day